Okay, the unboxing of a Simrad S5100 sonar module. We just got this, we ordered it a couple of months ago. And due to the COVID, we just got it today. It's May, I don't know, the end of May. So this is probably one of the first ones that's around. Looks like I untaped it from the bottom of the box, but that's okay. So very well packaged as normal with Simrad gear. Limited warranty card side box over here with all the connection goodies in it. Well, maybe we'll get that later. There we go. Let's see. Okay, so we got three transducer cables. Actually, these are converter cables. So these convert from the older seven pin to the nine pin, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's what they are. These are just adapter cables. Some red fuse. Looks like a ground screw and four mounting screws. And one butt connector. Ethernet cable, looks like it's about 15 feet maybe. And the four pin Simrad power cable, positive minus remote turn on, and blue's normally alarm. Nice little box. Oh, this thing's heavy. So metal, metal back, torque screws. This thing's bigger than we expected it to be, that's for sure. Don't really have anything to lay by it by the side. There's a set of keys. So obviously you know what the ethernet is. That's the way the signal gets in and out of the unit to the heads. Channel one, two, three. Our plan is to hook up the high, medium here, and then the low here, and then probably the forward scan transducer will go into channel three. Um, or we've actually got another older transducer on the bottom of the boat already that we might hook into there. Um, then on this side, we have power. Oh, okay, so it doesn't have an alarm output. It's just power, positive, negative, and the remote turn on. Overall, it's... Uh, Man, it's about twice the size we were expecting it to be, so I guess we should have measured where we're planning to put it. So we're going to have to rearrange some stuff downstairs and Miss Mimi to get to it. But thankfully, we haven't run any wires yet other than put the transducers in. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But yeah, so unboxing of the Simrad S5100. I guess that's the end of the video because there's not much more to talk about about this guy. Other than he looks really well built and assuming I don't drop it on my foot, I think I'll... Probably like that sucker. Oh well, time for the next one to show up.